Hey everyone, this is Felipe. Today I want to talk a bit about interfering in natural ecosystems. You see, most of the natural forests we have nowadays here in Brazil and in most parts of the world, they're really not natural forests at all. So I'm here in this part of the farm of Reservado Cajuzeira here in Lençóis, where we haven't really been working on, and it's the biggest part of the farm. This side of the farm is about something like 280 hectares. And let me let me show it to you what it looks like. So, you know, if you look at this on the map, you get the impression that it's a, you know, a dark, dense forest. But when you come in here and you start noticing that, you know, we've got lots of big trees. and But all of the understory has been completely destroyed. And what you see now as the understory is just this thick bush and vines and, you know, that really secondary growth, you know, a bunch of small trees re-sprouting from the, from the roots. And you can see that the vines are climbing the big trees and there are termites everywhere. These big trees, which are the emergent and high layers of the forest, they're the last ones to die, but you can see that they're all dying. And we find fallen trees here. Basically every week, there's a new fallen tree. And I don't know if you guys can see on the video, but 90% of the trees have termites on them. So this is a clear sign of a dying forest. And people look at it and think we have to protect it oh let's protect the trees but i say trees are not museums they're a live creature and when they are unhealthy in the system they block the whole system from regrowing from starting over again so actually the best thing we can do in such a situation is turn on the chainsaw and put these babies down and plant them again you know all these trees they're they're bound to fall there's nothing we can do about it you know we can take the termites out we can protect them we can pray we can do whatever we want they're gonna die they are already dying so it's really a matter of reading the systems you know what's going on in your place and understanding what can I do to help things flow and here in this system for things to flow trees have to go down because I can't plant under dying trees things don't work like that you know the life happens where trees fall life happens through completing cycles and falling these trees will complete the cycle of decay of the forest. But when a forest decays, it always comes back again and renewed in a healthier environment with a richer soil. This place has been beaten really badly, you know, a lot of fires and a bunch of cattle not properly managed and this can really destroy an ecosystem and so so this is just the 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 ideas i wanted to bring to you because we we tend to cling to life you know we don't we don't want things to die but sometimes the best we can do is to take down a tree 
you know, we work with agroforestry, we're planting trees, we're planting forests, but that doesn't mean that we don't take down trees. So we should really let go. You know, when we see a dying system, let's help it die, but plant it again. Imagine all this organic material on the floor, on the soil. It's going to be feast for microorganisms and it's going to be an amazing fertilizer for the whole system. And, you know, if we take up, if we learn how to use that resource, because it's all about learning how to use resources. It's all about learning how to use resources. And all that you see here is a resource. You know, there are a bunch of seeds all around waiting to sprout. They're just waiting for the forest to go down and then they're going to re-sprout. And the whole idea of working with agroforestry is mimicking the clearings that happen in the floor, in the forest because that's where life thrives. That's where big animals like ourselves can find food in clearing of the forest. It's where bananas like to grow. It's where papayas like to grow. It's where yams grow. It's where maize grows. It's where beans grow. It's where our food grows. So, you know, we're going to work on this part of the forest sometime soon. We haven't been able to organize ourselves to, to do some work here. We're probably going to need some heavier machinery. And actually, this place you're looking at, supposedly there was a, a small creek here which once ran, you know, there was some water running here, but for a few decades now it has gone dry. And we really, we, we dream of restoring it by putting organic material on the floor, having photosynthesis booming again, because nature is always trying to increase photosynthesis and that's why vines come. Because when you have dying trees, they have a very low level of photosynthesis and then vines come to cover them all and increase photosynthesis. The increase photos the photosynthesis of the system really quickly. So that's why we should use vines a lot in our systems. And we've got great vines like passion fruits and grapes and a bunch of others. Some green manure like black velvet beans, jack beans, cowpea. These are all vines that increase the photosynthesis of the system and this brings life and water into the soil. We can acknowledge that by looking at the forest, you know, what the forest that's the cane does. She brings vines into the system. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some food for thought. Trees are not museums, remember that. So let's understand that we as human beings can work with the forest, with a natural ecosystem in order to make it better. You know, we don't have to be the bad ones, the mean ones of the world all the time. You know, we've got a great potential to enrich the system, to help life thrive, to speed up the processes of life that are going on. The forest is dying. I've got a chainsaw. Hey, that's perfect. So I thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Share it with your friends. If you think this might help them somehow. And sign if you haven't yet. There's a link below. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So this is Felipe for the Agro Porsche Academy signing out.